Hello everyone, this is GWiz, and this is going to be how to apply silicone to a mobile home roof. You're going to need a drill with sock accessories, a mixer for a one half inch piece, 10 gallons of whatever it is you're going to be using, and then a brush, a power washer, repair fabric, use wet patch that lasts basically your entire life, has the roof sealant, PPE gloves, and sunglasses. Let's begin. Hello everyone, this is GWiz here. So today... I just want to let you guys know, if you're gonna be starting a silicone roof, the dangers of a silicone roof installation. For one, you might have noticed that it says it is rain safe within 15 minutes. That does not mean that it is dry. It takes 24 hours for this to dry. Do not walk on your roof until it has completely dried. Next, look at my clothes. And look at my shoes. You might have noticed that my shoes are covered in silicone. You'll ruin your shoes. You can't wash that out. Your pants too. Your clothes need to be disposable. The, the clothes you wear when you do a roof have to be disposable. Step three, wear gloves all the time. Have a box of disposable gloves that fit you when you do this job and change them frequently. Like, I mean, Every time you do a square of like maybe five or 10 feet by five or 10 feet, change your gloves because it keeps your hands from getting messy. And I'm gonna get off this roof now just because I can see my footprints right now. <laughs> They're in the roof. So I don't wanna ruin the roof that I worked so hard on. I'm gonna get out of here. We'll, con we'll continue this tomorrow, but I just want to let you know the, the dangers. Um, so the final danger actually is the silicone. When you put this down, you actually want to make a clear pathway for you to get down. Now I'm a crazy DIY guy. I don't mind slipping and falling off a roof to be honest with you. So I take risks, but you could die doing this job if you don't have a clear pathway to get off the roof safely because of silicone all over the place. So just, I don't know, maybe take your time with this project. Do like most of your house and just leave the pathway that goes down the ladder that you currently have alone and reposition that ladder somewhere else on the house where it is already dry and then continue to finish the project later another day. That is the safest way to do this. Not, do not do this all at once. Don't, don't do this. There's professionals that do this, yes. But if you're doing this yourself, do not, do not try to put the silicone on your roof all at once in one day. It's not gonna happen. Forget about it. Be safe out there. Now let's watch this video. Yo, gee whiz here. I'm on that roof for like an hour and a half and I can't stand the heat. So I went back inside to cool off. Alexa, what's the weather like this week? In San Jose for the next seven days. Monday, 63 degrees Fahrenheit and partly sunny weather. Tuesday, 63 degrees and partly sunny weather. Wednesday, 69 degrees and lots of sun. You'll Thursday, need at least three days to do this job. Degrees and partly sunny weather. Friday, 82 degrees and partly sunny weather. Luckily, Saturday, when it dries, it actually is sun. waterproof, so Sunday, you don't need to worry too much. Degrees and lots of sun. Hey everyone, this is G Wiz here. So today, um, it was actually the day we were supposed to have some roofers come up here and put some uh, acrylic uh, roofing up here. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do my job myself and show all of you, since this is within my skill range, to fix my roof. The first step is to check for the weather to make sure it's a sunny day so you can get the job done. The second step is to actually power wash it and I had the, uh, these guys power wash my roof for me since they had a big gas power washer that's specifically for cleaning a roof very quickly. And wow, is it clean. I love it. Now I can actually start working up here. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. The, first, the third step 
is actually to put some wet patch along all of these cracks and to seal all of these cracks. All right, so I'm just gonna show you what they were doing up here for the most part. They're applying silicone overlay here. Now, you might notice also there's some black spots here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get some of that wet patch and I'm gonna put it all along here on every single one of these cracks putting some wet patch and I'm putting wet patch down in areas that could leak later over time like near these vents and near the swamp cooler again once it's applied and dried we can begin with the silicone all right so in order to use wet patch you need this fabric tape you apply a coat first you put the fabric tape down and then you apply the coat again as it says on the instructions let's do that right now Okay, now we have the mesh on as instructed by wet patch. So as you can see, we just applied it, we reinforced it, and now we have to cover it. So we need to put another layer of the wet patch on here. So just get this wet patch, start rubbing it over the fabric like this. Make sure it touches the edge so that the entire area stays sealed as much as possible and just spread it around onto the patch like so and this will waterproof seal the cracks so that you can begin the next step all right so the mesh is on and the sealer is covered so Step three is complete. All right. Mix this up until it gets thick. Look how thicker that is. Yeah, you do this until the wateriness is gone. One bucket is enough to cover half of this roof, so I only need two buckets. I happen to carry uh, four buckets home, so I, it looks like I'm gonna have enough to have at least two coats on this house for extra long protection. All right, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I just painted this, and I might have made a slight mistake just because I did decide to do the risky move of uh painting this entire area and now i'm just gonna stand here in my little spot and wait i'm gonna wait until this is dry for at least 15 minutes and then i'm gonna climb down but the job for the most part i've been up here since 12 ish until 1 30. so the entire roof can be done in about four hours by yourself and uh, as you can see, I also took the measure to paint uh, the silicone on the middle piece as well. The entire roof is coated with the silicone and I still have plenty left. So I'm just proving you only really need two buckets to do the first layer and then maybe another two buckets to do the next layer. All right, I'm gonna try to get down now. All right, and so just the final inspection, I'm just gonna show you, I patched up these areas here around the swamp cooler and make sure to make a nice seal going along the cracks here. This is mostly silicone. I don't recommend mixing silicone and acrylic. Just do all silicone or all acrylic of your choice. Uh, I'd recommend just going with the silicone because it has a much brighter white. Looks cleaner and honestly, even though you have to worry about dust, really with the silicone, it's not really a big deal. If it gets dirty, I don't know, clean it or just apply more silicone later. That's it. See you, Wiz. Hope you all have a good one. See ya.